This is The Night Show with Ryan Roberts. Oh, Friday is upon us. Finally, it's come. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome. 991 PLR Facebook page. With me, as always, my illustrious producer, Jim Lauber the third. How are we doing, we're Jimmy? Doing, uh, we're doing good. It's Friday. It's casual Friday. Casual Friday, which means black shirts black for shirts. Jimmy. Yep. You look and, great. Uh, you look good, too. No, no, not really. You're just saying that because I, I say that. I say that because, you, you know, I work for you. Well, yeah. Well, you don't have to lie. Hey, Mike Turgan just joined us. Uh, Mary's here. Brian Alexander. Jamie Allison. Russ McGovern. Brian C's here. Brian C. Yeah. I just, everyone's, uh... What, what you got there? We've been doing this show for, uh, what is it, 12 weeks now? Yeah. And you know every single Friday. Every single one. Is Whole Milk. Whole Milk Friday. Whole Milk Friday. Yep. It, uh, it's except good for you. The only problem is, is that for some reason, because you're on this weird diet, you got Hood Simply Smart Low Fat Milk. It's supposed to be Whole Milk Friday. for your bones. Yeah, you but no, only... No, only whole milk is good for your bones. Low fat milk does nothing for you. It does not. It's like corn. Yes, it's exactly it's like corn. Does nothing. It does nothing for you. It's it's simply to look cool. So whatever diet you're on, you gotta stop, man, because it's cutting into our whole milk Fridays. And uh, joining for us, uh, joining us as, as usual for whole milk Fridays, my co-host Matthew James. Hi, friends. You know. If you're a, a long-time listener of the show, all 13 weeks, or 12, depending how you look at it. I took a vacation. Uh, I never indulge on Whole Milk Friday, but for the first time ever, I think I'm going to join well, you guys it's, it's in It's because drink. you're also doing this weird uh, I am. Paps Blue Ribbon diet. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, you're getting ready for... Cheers, um, friends. Right, so you're getting ready for uh, wrestling this Sunday, right? WrestleMania 34. Do you know that I'm the same age as WrestleMania? So, like, I'm 34 this April, and now WrestleMania is 34. So as old as I am, and one of those days, one of us are going to continue on. One of these years, one of us are going to continue on without the other. I hope it's not this year. So uh, one of our frequent um, viewers... Russ McGovern was very busy with uh, Facebook or uh, Facebook and Photoshop. Photoshopping. So uh, today, and I want to I want to show you this, uh, Matthew, because the first one is of you. Let me see if I and I can't get you yours right now. But this was uh, the what he photoshopped Jim as. <laughs> Jim <laughs> no, as Ryan. No hair. It's, it's, <laughs> that's actually my biggest fear. Um, but it, I, I look Tell pretty about good, it. though. <laughs> Your biggest fear? I look good. I look like I've been to prison. Your biggest fear is to look like me? That's well, what my you biggest f- fear is to have no hair. That's what you fear the but most. But I actually look good. With no hair? Picture. In that picture, yeah. you, you do look good. I, I totally look like I was in prison. You do. But, uh... Yeah. You look like Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> You do the way you kind of got your. Well, he's a serviceman who a bald. That's service interesting, with though. His big arms, so yeah. Yeah, you look. Uh, was Popeye bald? I don't. I think he was bald. He just had the cap. He never like a good sailor. The facial hair, his, though, uh, gay porn star. The facial oh, hair. Popeye have facial hair? Dude, absolutely. What is it? That it's a beard, right? Or is it? A I don't think. I don't think it's he like ever a, had. It's a, no, it's a. It's like a, a grizzled beard, isn't it? I don't think Popeye had uh, any facial hair. Who didn't you just say facial hair? He has facial hair oh, in his yeah. photo. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no facial hair for Popeye. He's a serviceman. A seaman. <laughs> he kind of looks like he would be... What wrestler is that, dude? What? He looks Jim? like... Jim? Yeah, he looks like a wrestler. Like Stone Cold? Yeah, maybe. Goldberg? I can't get on... Uh, I can't get your picture. Well, this is... Like this fine. is what this is what he did. Yeah, you're like, fine. Fine. This is what he did. see Bud. This is what he did for me. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that he used Jim's hair too. Like looks, he didn't Google great hair. He knew where to find it. Doesn't Jim's look hair. Bad, though. It really doesn't look that bad. Oh my god. I look like uh so it doesn't match my goatee, so I look like like one of those dudes that that colors his head but not yes. his his uh his facial hair, you know? 
I kind of look like a wrestler too. A wrestler promoter, I think, is more a accurate. Promoter? You think you're a promoter of that one, or you used car salesman? Yeah, I love it. I think it's great that he literally took Jim's hair and put it on your head. He that's, that's Jim's incredible. promo hair. Normally, a, you would Google great hair, right? Not Russ. He knew where to find it. He's anyway. actually really right on my page. He's right actually on. really good at. He is um, good at it. Um, Photoshopping. So Combined. thank you, thank you very much for that. Uh, Too bad he didn't do one for me, huh? Russ McGovern. <laughs> no, he did. <laughs> he did. I just didn't uh, didn't have it ready. That's so much better than this. Oh. oh. When you try though, Chiefy Doodles, when you try real hard and shave the sides of your head, yeah, when you and do shave it, your huh? scruff and only have your goatee, yep. You're, you're like fine. When you cleaned up for the very first night, or no, 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 when they the... paid you. When they paid you to shave, yes, that's the only time. That's the last time you looked good when, when somebody you, when paid you. you. The, when you did the Bic video for <laughs> Bic Flex Five, yeah, you looked ten years younger, and other people said that too. I got it. There's Matt. Nah, <laughs> I kind of like. He it. Did, he didn't do. I don't Whose know. hair is that? He looks like a mullet. <laughs> party in front. Nah, that's party all over. Oh man, you look surprised that you have a mullet. What You're like, picture what? is that? Uh, I don't know where he got that, Facebook man. page? I have no idea. I don't know where he got that. There's so that. many bad pictures of me on the internet. Because I do the wrestling shows, and fans don't give a shit. Wrestling fans, if you look fat and bald and bloated, upload. They're they gonna, They're going to put that there. They don't care. Of course. Don't forget to uh, please hit share. We're trying to get the, uh, the show out. Uh, if you hit share next week, I think we're going to have some more tickets to give away. I'm not uh, totally 100% sure. Also... April Foolishness is coming up. Yep, one it's week April, from tomorrow. Mm-hmm. April 14th. You can get the tickets on WPLR.com. They're only 12 bucks. April 14th. And that's at the Space Ballroom in Hamden. Not the, go. not the Space the Ballroom. Space Ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's the show that... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so Jimmy Nats. We have uh, a special uh, treat that we're trying for the first time uh, ever. We're going to try Friday Night Trivia with uh, our host, Matthew James. With me? Mm-hmm. I wasn't prepared. You weren't prepared? No, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> what? what am I going <laughs> to... How are we going to... Uh, that's weird. Why would you ask me to do trivia? Uh, how did you hijack our television? <laughs> what? Oh, Western Mass Trivia Nights, Logo. What are you doing there? On this brand new fancy state-of-the-art soundstage. Oh, man. Wow. How about let's do a, uh, in honor, you know what? We've been so diligent for 13 weeks and done Whole Milk Fridays. Whole Milk Fridays. Whole milk I Fridays. think, why don't we dive a little bit? Let's do a beer logo quiz. We've been so good. Uh, do it, drinking our whole milk. Let's reward ourselves with a beer logo quiz. Now, we won't drink uh, uh, in this room because we know, we've known all along for 12, 13 weeks now that that's not what not, you do. Not right. something that happens. Absolutely. But let's do a beer logo quiz to reward ourselves. Mm. So, um, let's do... Could let's you put do 30 this, seconds. Could you do this as a drinking game if, if you were sitting at home? Yeah. How would you do this as a drinking game? I would game? Say, say everybody who doesn't get it, the first person that gets it doesn't have to drink. And then the other four people or whoever you're playing with would have to drink. You know what I mean? All right. So, that's how we're going to run this is, is whoever answers... Whoever answers first. We'll, do, we'll have Carissa on the clock. Carissa, can you set, tell us the first person that... Uh, so pull up the show. <laughs> what? Uh, maybe oh, not not a stop, but just well, yeah. You got to answer within thirty seconds. If you don't answer with thirty seconds, so Jim, you'll do the answers then. Yeah. Do you know I'll, the, I'll you monitor. Don't know the answers though? I don't. I yeah, I don't know the answers. Though. <laughs> you want me to just call out when people respond? Uh, yeah, we'll try that for a moment, or I'll stand up. And so get... I'm going to call out the responses. Why don't we? Do you want to switch for a minute, Jim? Do you want me to just stand in front of the computer? No, and no we'll, it's uh... fine. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. First beer logo. First beer logo. Thirty seconds on the clock. First person to respond wins. Let's do the clock after you finish the question. Okay. First beer logo. Looking for this beer. Whose logo is this? Which beer is this? I won't tell you where it's located. That might bitch and beer company. <laughs> <laughs> The Biatch Beer Company. Who can tell us what which beer this logo represents? The Bald Beer Company. Ooh. We have ten seconds left. 
Bass. No. No. Valentine. No. No. Five seconds. Not Valentine. No. No. Everybody's saying Valentine. No. It is We're not. We're done. Done. Wow. Let's that do, is let's do forty-five seconds. We'll try forty-five next time. That is from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn Brewery. Wow. Brooklyn Brewery. All right. Next one. Ready? Here we go. Looking for this. That's an easy one. Yep. You're everyone an, should know this. You're an easy one. Let's see who gets it first, though. 45 seconds on the clock. Western Mass Trivia Nights. <laughs> Facebook Western Mass Trivia Nights. Who can type fast enough? How are we doing on time, babe? St. Pauli Girl. St. Pauli Girl. Brian Alexander. Brian Alexander. There we go. Congratulations, right. Brian. Congratulations. There's one point for Brian Alexander. Everybody else should be drinking. Here the we point, go. Where the points mean everyone, nothing. Everyone drink. We Whole don't know milk. the points. Yeah. Whole milk drink. All right, here we go. This next one is not only the best beer on this list, might be the best beer ever. On which beer will you find this label? This has always been one of your favorites. Always. I'm going to have a little water to watch the whole milk down. <laughs> Gross. <clears throat> I had a trouble. I had trouble with this one uh, earlier too. You did. I. I uh, it took me a couple you're minutes. To tell, you're gonna have to tell me the guesses. It took me a couple minutes to get it. I drink these. If you know me, you know that I drink drink these very often in Beckett, Massachusetts. Maria says Bex. No, not Bex. Not Bex. Ten you, seconds. You can't just say Bex every time. Not Blue Moon either. It's not Blue Moon. No. Let's add ten Let's seconds to that. Think. Think a little. Know. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a, a minute clock from now on, because there is a lag. Um, um, Did we get one? This isn't such a popular well, beer anymore. Well, this is the top of the label anymore. It well, sure is. When it's we were younger, we drank a lot of more it. More popular than that. All right, forget it. That is the Moon Girl on the top of the glass bottle Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. <laughs> I'll be drinking some of those later in Beckett, Massachusetts. Not to be confused with Western Massachusetts. <laughs> Here we go. Next one. All right. This is a tough one. Maybe wow. some of our uh, some of our more seasoned listeners will know. That one was a rough one for me, too. Yeah. Well, you're not as... Uh... Salem. No. It's not Salem. No. Milwaukee? It is Old Milwaukee. Maria. Old Milwaukee right there. Maria got it. Wow, she got that very quickly. So wow. not as much as the delay as we thought. Everyone's just dumb. Or she just said Milwaukee <laughs> for the, for the, for the for last one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, let's find out. It's no, old. she was wrong. She said Stella Artois. Oh, she <laughs> Are you guys getting comments earlier than I am? Ruin that one. Uh, no, I don't no, know. I'm, no one's getting them later than Maria, though. Yeah, they're popping up. All right, let's try this a couple more times here. We're going to clear the slate, everybody. All right, what's slate next? Slate cleared. Here we go, looking for the first person to guess this beer's label. A favorite of Ryan Roberts, usually found on coasters. Comes with its own special glass. Belgium's Amber Beer. Western Mass Trivia Nights, Matthew James. <laughs> this one is one of my favorite uh, Sessions beers. You can really drink quite a few of these. Well, you can they, really drink quite a few of most beers. That's true. Chief, they, go down, they go down very smooth. So do you after. And... Uh, Brian T. Shellnut says there's a huge delay. I don't think it's so bad. I don't think it's that bad. This one is a Belgian beer. It is not Bex Russ McGovern. Not Bex. It is not. Um, Bex Bex. Is a, None of these are Bex. Bex what is, is a. What is Bex anyway? Stop. Bex is a German beer. Maria, you can't see the logo. That was the point. Well, well she's just guessing. <laughs> she's just, <laughs> she's just <laughs> throwing out names. She's listening to this with her headphones. How much on. time we have? Ah, we'll Five just, seconds. Let's go till someone does it. We're still being entertaining. It's not like there's just dead air in between. Brian C. It's not a cup of coffee. No. No, Brian C. Bex, John Monroe. No. It's no, not it's the not. Bex. What is Green that? Bastards it's IPA. No. It is not Green Bastards IPA. No. All right. That is. It begins with a P. It begins with a P. It has three letters after it. I think I know this, but I. I Do you want to win, Jim? Ah. Uh, no, five, I don't know. Five seconds. White Trojan. No, that's something totally different. So I guess is that right. even a beer? No, that's just what somebody wants to do to you on the message. Heineken, no. 
No. Yeah, it's Heineken. This Unicorn. One's, this one's a, a tough one. Old Mayor Ale. All right, we're done. This is... I see, though. We're going to have to leave it up a little longer before we even... All right. Yeah. Before we talk about it. We'll yeah. just put the logo up and then... All right. This is Palm. P-A-L-M. Palm. Wow. A Palm beer. Here we go with the next beer logo. This one was hard for me, too. How's your whole milk? My whole milk is... Uh, I finished my whole milk. Ooh, what a good, strong boy. Do you think that's how his hair got so shiny? <laughs> no. All the whole milk? <laughs> Oh, Steven Janowicz just said palm. Ah, sorry, Steve. Yeah, it must have took a while to travel to Texas. The signal takes a little bit <laughs> to travel to a garage in Texas, a perfectly maintained garage. A Swifford Texas. garage. It's not Budweiser, Russ McGovern. Tap the Rockies. Chad Fetting says Killian's. Killian's Irish Red. Chad Fetting. Wow, you did it. Good job, it? sir. Killian's Irish Red. That one's Killian's, huh? Yep. It looks very Irish. It does. Well, there's, I guess so. Here we go. Ready? Next beer logo, please, computer of Western Mass Trivia Nights. Thank you. <laughs> this one from Copenhagen, Denmark. My friend Ryan Roberts has traveled there. Actually, been in this brewery. I have been I in this brewery. I wasn't with him, so I don't know why I tried to tell I remember story. going into the brewery. I do not remember <laughs> s- stumbling out of <laughs> said brewery. Whoops. Is it Jenny? Mm-mm. Cold 45. I was like, 45. They, I think they're joking with you. If they say private stock, they're joking with you. King Cobra. <laughs> From a small, beautiful country in Copenhagen, Denmark, rated one of the best places to live on earth. The happiest people, too. Or anywhere. That's right. And mostly, mostly it's mostly. because of this beer right here. It begins with a C. How much time do we have on the clock? Ah, we- I think, we, I think we abandoned the clocks. We don't know what the... Uh, 15 seconds. Carlsberg. Oh, Brian Alexander. It is Carlsberg. Carlsberg. Man, that, that's two for him. Very Carlsberg. Yep. Two. two points. He's the big winner right now. Two points. All right, what number was that? Anybody know? This is what I do every night at Trivia. I go, what number was that? I'm lost. No idea. All right, here we go. The next one. We're going to get a couple more. The best one. I changed my mind. This is easy. The best one on this list. I haven't seen that anywhere. No, nah, dude. If, they, if there's... I bet somebody's got a 30 rack of this kicking around. I bet oh, my, Nads my father some. used to have a constant 30 oh, rack of this beer. Oh, my God. This is the grossest, right? No. Yeah, it is. It's not King Diamond. It's not Two Board Gold. That was, the, that was oh. for the last one. Those are for the last one. I guess we're a little bit behind. Brian it. Alexander again. Wow. Red Dog? Red Boom. Dog. Boom. Red Dog. All right, I think it's the last one. Nope, two more. We'll get this one right here. This one's easy. If Brian on. Alexander gets this one, there's no chance for anyone to catch the him. The answer's in the, the logo. Here, here. What? Yeah. I like this beer. Good beer. WrestleMania this Sunday. If anyone wants to talk about WrestleMania, chime in. I will talk about that. Of course you will. Dogfish, right. Brian Dog Alexander. Fish, yeah, he wins. He's all right, right man. All right, then the last one is Blue Moon, and that concludes <laughs> all the music round coming up next here at Western Mass Trivia Nights. Check us out on Facebook, Western Mass Trivia Nights, from the long list of bars and restaurants we have scammed into paying for this shit. Oh, man. I'll give you a logo back in a minute. <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, Brian Alexander. Knows good. his beer. Good job, my friend. It is from Brantford. You, you've had a, uh, it is, yeah. You've had a couple of, uh, of libations. Maybe you should come to one of those Once or events. twice. Maybe you should come to a Western Mass Trivia Night. He would kill Monday at Trivia. Monday through Thursday. He would mostly kill in Springfield, trivia. and I come down here every time to talk to you guys. Won't somebody come up and see me? <laughs> we have enough time to do one more. Do you want to, want to do, you want to do one another more? trivia round? Do we have news that doesn't matter, or are we going to do that in the after show? We do have news that doesn't matter. Let's do a, let's do a couple of them and see what, uh, what happened out in the world. It's time for news. That doesn't really matter. It's The Night Show with Ryan Roberts on 99.1 PLR. Here are tonight's headlines. Man gets stabbed in pub fight, then orders pint of beer with knife stuck in his back. <laughs> now, Matthew James, 
Yeah. Guess guess which country? I'm gonna say Ireland. <laughs> no, you would be Scotland. wrong. Scotland. Nope. Uh, so this one was a little bit more difficult, but when it, the answer came, I was like, oh yeah. Oh, of course it was. Hold on. Knight in his back. Knife in his back. That's not a knife. Oh, Australia. this isn't right. There which you continent go. Wow. did this happen? Is what you should have said. That's true. Of course he got <laughs> That's not a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. Oh, it is. It actually is a knife. Uh, Give, me well, a Give me a Faustus. <laughs> Give me a Faustus. Uh, the next one, police. Man exposed himself to Amish women. Guess why? Uh, hold on, hold on. Man exposed himself to Amish woman because she was dressed seductively. <laughs> <laughs> Showing a little bit of calf. <laughs> to look like that Jim. Oh, the TV went off. Oh, sorry. I was just I didn't know we were going to do another one. I was really Might as well just do it. Why do you have pictures of the Titanic? <laughs> it, was, it was April 3rd. <laughs> now we can't play. Everybody's all in. Uh, you just ruined everything. No one was paying attention. Jim and Russ are going to break out again. I guarantee Close. you. No. I guarantee you that no one. No one cared or saw. It's fine. No one was paying attention to that. <laughs> What's our next one? Oh, man. Are we done with that? No, news that doesn't matter. No, I know, but guy exposed himself to Amish women because they couldn't call for help. Uh, you have no. nothing. I had, I had a good have, line at the beginning. You have nothing I, to say. Did they, did they pen a letter to the local police? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is how he got caught. He got caught because he exposed himself to a woman that he thought was... An Amish woman oh, she's that a was. Plain Jane? <laughs> no, it was an undercover cop. Like, yeah, it was well, an undercover they can do cop. That? What, dress up like an Amish woman? Yeah. I don't, go undercover? I don't know. I knew an undercover cop who would have to pose as a prostitute, an Amish prostitute. She slept with 30 men a night. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my God. Come on. Uh, everything, the... Uh, Come on. What? No, the uh, I'm noticing there was a slight... Uh, a little laggy. A little... Oh, no, over my great joke, my Meta Knight joke? A little, yeah... Sorry about that. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Let me just try to fix it here. We going low Q? Let's talk amongst yourselves. What did you think about that Amish joke, Jim? Did you think <laughs> <laughs> 30 men a night? Oh, <laughs> man. At Stoltzfus in Burdenham, Pennsylvania, where you can't travel down the fucking road without hitting, one, a flea market, or two, a goddamn horse and buggy in front of you. I've never been out to the Amish country. Don't yeah, go. traffic never is... Never been out there. Don't go. Uh, traffic literally is... Ryan uh, went on, like, family vacations because his family... Because his, like, parents thought that was cool to take. <laughs> Let's okay. go to Dutch Amish country. <laughs> no. I'm a, I fixed it. Oh, you did? Yes. But they did. They took me to Dutch Amish country when I was 15 as a vacation. Cool. We, uh... My mom had to stop for, like... T I remember taking pictures of cows... That were like underneath, like it was underneath a bridge, and there was like clothes on the clothesline with an yeah. Amish woman taking in the laundry in the back. We have to stop for pictures, and I'm like 15 at the time, just completely. We, we went to the Falls Craft Dish Factory to learn how to make dishes. I had a great. That's way better than wow. Six Flags. Yeah, <laughs> way so. better than just staying here and going to Lake Compounds. Thanks for that. Or not. Uh, two prisoners escape a maximum security jail in Colombia, getting a guard drunk and convincing him to let them go get more alcohol. <laughs> wow. I swear to God, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll go get it. You're too drunk. Man. Yeah. You, 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 we, your, job, your job could be in jeopardy if they saw how drunk you were. Well, the guard probably gave him like... 20 bucks. Pay right. Yeah. Now well, he's this, on a job and $20. This is Columbia, so, you know. The, the thing you was... the Coke would have kept them up enough to know what was going on. They got the alcohol uh, in the first place. It was the um, prison alcohol that they make out of fermented whatever. Oh, they made whatever. Hooch? toilets. Yeah, yeah, they yeah they like the hooch. Toilet. Colombian toilet hooch. Exactly. <laughs> so the guard is drinking with prisoners... Not only is he drinking, but he's drinking prison toilet water hooch. 
Like, you know what? I just saw, I'm addicted to the show on Hulu called 60 Days In. It's actually on AMC. It's 60 Days In. And they don't make it in the toilet anymore. You know what they make it in? Just rubber maids. Just big rubber maids that they buy from commissary, like literally for making hooch, like Tupperware to put under your... Anyway. So when they, like, they just have them stored? Yeah, they're just in there. And then if you get run, if the guys come through in the, like, two weeks that it if your room gets tossed in the two weeks that it takes to make the hooch, your room gets tossed. Oh, you, well. like, prep the food rotting in a plastic bag, which you're allowed to have. Yeah. And then you get it going in your little uh, rubber maid under the thing. How do you know so much about I making have been prison binge alcohol? watching. <laughs> 60 di- I'm on season four of 60 Days In on AMC. You can ask Carissa. Don't message Carissa Creeps. Is that, is that just, where the regular people go to the yes, jail? Yes, they put. I was just. They put six people in the jail. They don't know that each other are in there. There's six just regular Joe schmoes. A couple of them are Marines. The Marines do really well in oh, there. Wow. You do great in jail. All you'd have to do is shave your head, Jim. You'd look great in jail. The uh, so or like it's like a school guidance counselor. Yep. And or it's just like a dude who's totally disenfranchised about it all and thinks he's gonna be fine and he gets immediately like you gotta go you're police like they get in the wow. they get in the jail and they're like sit down and they're like who are you they're like oh, I don't know I was just they're like how'd you get here he's like well I was pulled over on and he's like police police get him out of here like a good like, backstory <laughs> really got caught on the bat story yeah but the Marines are always great. You get a Marine in there. Plus, they meet up with all the other Marines that are already in there that are just, like, actually in there. I have had a few guys that I served with do some time in jail. And they were like, eh, it was just like being in a barracks. I'm like, really? Really? Like, <laughs> actually, we ate, we ate better. He, I, I believe him, You too. eat better in He's like, jail we than the better. Marines? We ate better in and you don't. You only have to shit next to three people as opposed to 40. That's odd. Oh, that was my biggest thing. Hates oh, it. No. That's the worst part of it. If you that ask the him, not the shrapnel in his nuts. No. It's the fact that he had to poop next to dudes. I wouldn't like that either. I wouldn't want to poop next to you. I don't no. really like pooping in the same house as you. No, I understand. <laughs> My friend Steve's worse. Woman arrested after making lewd comments to the Easter Bunny. Police said <laughs> it's the real, like at the mall. <laughs> yeah, she went. Yeah, went to go get pictures at with the Easter Bunny at the mall. Oh, I don't know if it was at the mall, but at some, you know, lewd comments. Yeah, yeah. What a like what yeah, a, Easter Bunny. Oh, yeah. What Something a prude like Easter bunny <laughs> called the cops. Like, you find this is your one chance to get some tail. <laughs> your one chance to get a little a get a little hot mom action and you get the cops called on her? Why not get in the why, why would you be an Easter bunny if you're not trying to like, <laughs> fuck moms? Sorry, are we swearing at five o'clock? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Has anyone sworn this week or just me? Police say an Ohio woman has been arrested for making lewd comments to an Easter bunny. Authorities say they were called to Richland Carousel Park. No, oh. that's a ball. No, oh. wow, that's a ball, right? It was at a carousel park. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it's kind of like yeah. a mall, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, the woman was arrested for drunkenness, and uh, uh, officers arrived. Reported the 54 year old appeared to be intoxicated. Well, slurred speech and then steadiness on her feet. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you go to hell, somebody. She's 54. I thought <laughs> she was younger. Play a younger hot mom just getting drunk. Right now, Ohio. <laughs> did, Close. He really, did he really? Yeah, he did. It's Ohio. He get, oh, it is. Yeah. Is it Ohio? Holy shit, this guy's good. Yeah, you, you guess everything, man. Congratulations, Brian Alexander, for being the winner of the day. Don't forget to check out uh, Western Mass Trivia Nights. Oh, you don't have to plug my show on here, man. That's okay. Like, I don't mind. That's well, you crazy. haven't plugged it yet. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, Western Mass Trivia Nights uh, every Monday through Thursday in Western Massachusetts. Check me out on Facebook, though, actually. I don't care if you guys ever come to a thing. Just click like on Facebook and make me feel like I'm not going to kill myself because I've been doing this like 10 years and there's only 200 <laughs> likes on my fucking Facebook. The Aristocrats page has more likes doing this 13 weeks been doing this my whole adult life. And uh, don't forget, April Foolishness is coming up April 14th. The tickets are uh, still on sale at uh, WPLR.com. Yeah. Tickets are only 12 bucks. It's at the Space Ballroom in Hamden. Space Ballroom? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, what? were you oh, on you vacation? Were here. Sorry. While you were here, Jimmy Dad's, uh, in, in addition to saying that concert from August was in April, yes. April yep. it's only five months off. It's fine. Uh, and he said it was Marilyn Monroe and Rob Zombie. <laughs> Which would have been the fucking concert of the spring in April. It would have been the greatest concert oh all God. spring. Uh, he kept calling it. He was saying he didn't put 
words. He didn't put spaces in between the words he was saying. So he was like, it's at the Spaceballs room uh, <laughs> April 14th. What does he, What was the other one? Uh, uh, oh, man. He keeps saying hit. Was it hit Sharon? Hit Sharon Wynn. Hit Sharon Wynn. Hit Sharon Wynn. Who's who, Sharon who Wynn? Who's Sharon Wynn? And why are we hitting her? <laughs> My good friend Sharon Wynn. I thought he did a decent job. Yeah, getting us canceled yeah. for a week. He did great. <laughs> No, I took a vacation. I was down in Mexico. Sorry, I was in Mexico. Mexico. That's right. At the Chihuahua farm, taking care of Mike Lapatino's. Uh, it's not really a farm. It's uh, more of a breeding facility where he breeds uh, award-winning purebred chihuahuas oh. for um, lots of rich people in, uh, you know, Hollywood. And it's like a chic. He's like a little purse dog, you know. But they shake a lot, and they're really, really nervous. So they're all inbred. So some dude was uh, stealing big bagfuls of chihuahuas and just walking out the front door of the uh, the Lapatino Chihuahua uh, breeding facility, and um, he sent me down to regulate. I had to go down to Mexico and uh, speak very broken Spanish to these Mexicans well, to explain it to gets them. Better the more you drink, though. Right. Doesn't your Spanish get better when you I drink? speak perfect Spanish when I'm drunk because I don't give a shit that I'm not making sense. And I just, I just, ah, 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 right. I don't real loud. Right. And they, yeah, you think by talking louder and slower. Louder and in slower. In broken English and Spanglish. Like more yeah. broken. I learned a fair amount of uh, Mexican living in Mexico. But, uh, <laughs> a fair <laughs> amount of Mexican? fair amount of Mexican. Yeah. So, um. I took care of it. I took care of the problem. I was down there for about a week in Oaxaca, Mexico, and uh, uh, I produced the shit out of it. Usually that's cheese back? usually that's Jim's job. Um, well, Oaxacan cheese Oaxacan is really cheese. good. Yeah. Oh, you can eat it like potato chips off the grill. It's great. So good, so good. Oh, I'm sorry. I was misinformed. You were on. I'm sorry. Misinformed of what? I misinformed. You were on. You were down on vacation uh, handling that security thing. Right, 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 right. So thanks for coming out to. Uh, Whole Milk Wednesdays. Uh, sorry, Whole Milk Fridays. Every single Friday. Every single Friday. Um, we uh, indulge a little bit. And uh, this week, actually, Jim kind of messed up. He got some Simply Smart. Oh, smart. Hey, He's 12 a- weeks in a row, you got the greatest whole milks from Hood to Gorelick Farms, all the way up to Stewart's Shops in Albany, New York. I really appreciate that. Oh, know why you got to... You got to. You did. Up. You took that drive and everything Every with, Friday, with Kelly. A different bottle of whole milk. Yep. So, um, but today, I guess it was uh, whole milk Fridays was turned into simply smart. I don't even think there is a percentage of fat on here. Not none. Well, that is, I have plenty of that. None Thank none. you, Jim, my illustrious producer, and your yeah. amazing hair. Thanks for being here, my guest and co host every Friday. Were you doing an after show? Yeah, uh, after party on the Night Show Live page. Uh, Night Show Live with Ryan right. Roberts. Come check it out right after this. Um, Western Mass Trivia Nights. What? You didn't have to do that. I didn't say it at all. We didn't oh, talk so about nice. it. We, we didn't talk about, about it. My company, we then. didn't talk about it once the entire time. I'm hosting karaoke tomorrow in Beckett, Massachusetts. If anybody, no wants one to come lives up. anywhere near any of the you things make that the you do. <laughs> ride even farther to Beckett, Massachusetts. Come to Papa Bob's tomorrow night. <laughs> we'll be back on Monday. Thanks for coming out to the Night Show Live. I'm Ryan Roberts. Please join us for the after party coming up right after this.